Look, you need to get out of here before they find you. You'll be joining up with a small squad outside the chapel at Mercy. Be careful, and don't blow your cover. People want your head, and this is the only way to keep you safe until it all dies down. And who knows, maybe exposure to the front lines will help you learn whose lives you put at stake. This is Private Sierra, Audio Log 1. Following an unexpected turn of events, I have found myself in need of... temporary shelter. Anonymous sources have directed me to contact a local squad in this sector, and my only hope is that I can fit in well enough to be a valuable member of the team. So, we all agree to the plan, right? Once I'm promoted, I place Bravo in charge of the whole entire galactic empire, give Romeo control of the Office of Gentlemanly Affairs, and let Noble create his... Ugh... Battalion of big booty bitches. I got big booty bitches, big, big booty bitches, woo! My first act as the colonel of overly expensive Valentine's Day dinners is to order you to shut the fuck up. Whatever. You ain't got nothing on me right now, man whore. That insult wasn't even remotely intelligent. At least I don't whip it out at every female that passes by. Only the attractive ones. Whatever, man. My body count is still higher than yours. And please stop calling it that. It makes you sound like a serial killer. What? You got a problem with my body count? You wanna go, bro? You wanna fucking go? You wanna take this outside? We are outside, you idiot. Oh, yeah! Bring it! Why don't you show him the internet? That'll keep him occupied for a while. Bravo, you're a genius. Why didn't you suggest that earlier? Whatever. Come on, dipshit. A magical world awaits. Dude! I thought the internet was just a myth! This is so fucking sweet! Nice weather we're having. Yep. You don't talk much, do you? Yeah, no. Hello there, I'm... Oh. <coughs> Excuse me, frog in my throat. I mean, yo dudes, what's happening? I'm the new private from, uh, Dixville. And I'm looking for the squad stationed outside the chapel at Mercy. Have you fine-looking gentlemen heard anything about that squad? Oh. When did that get there? So, Private. It seems you found who you were looking for without even knowing who you'd found. Great first impression. Is that how you speak to a lady? Um, I mean, a man? Well, yeah, that's how I'm speaking to a man. Great. He's all frilly vanilly, too. Son, let me ask you a very important question. Are you a feminist? No. I mean, yes. I mean, no. Yes. No. Yes? Is this a trick question? Let me put this as bluntly as possible. <sighs> Alright. Well, now that we've got all that settled, let's uh, see where you all are. I see you've just met Sierra. Clever girl. I think you'll like her. Noble is discovering the internet. God help us all. Bravo just spoke for the first time this episode. And Alpha was about to say something extremely offensive. That's really bad. Political correctness is not one of our strengths here, apparently. <sighs> I, I, I can't let the kids hear that. What to do, what to do. Just wouldn't be right. Hmm. I don't think the writers would be too put off if I made a few changes. So here we go, a couple of changes here. A few edits there. Completely unoffensive statements thrown in everywhere else. Here we go. Much more appropriate. Uh, keep watching. And uh, I'll be right back. We 
accept all types of people here. Blacks, whites, gays, straights, feminists, chauvinists, communists, republicans, don't ask, don't tell, we always say. Sorry, missed that one. Hell, you could even be a lady and we would still accept you. Oh, well, good thing that isn't the case. At all. And never will be the case because I am totally 100% man. Welcome to the squad, Private. Strange. I was gonna say something else, but I totally forgot what it was. Must not have been important. Whatever. <laughs>